I get so many people they say, oh, Kwame A plus is bitter. He's very bitter. MPP people, uh, he was expecting something that he didn't get. And that is why he began the people. I was one of the first people to get a contract under the MPP. So don't even say that he was expecting something he didn't get. Don't go there. I was one of the first people to get a contract under the MPP. After the contract, Dr. Nya was also made CEO for Kolebu. There was plenty of money there. So that one, don't even say that he didn't get something, so he's better. Don't go there. That argument, don't even start with it. You can say he is bitter because they gave him a contract and they took it. Yes, and that is why he began the people's project. Yes, something must begin something. The whole world is like this because it was begun by somebody eating God's apple. And God has been angry for so many years. So you can say that because people must not live in a country where they get a contract, shut up and chop and the rest of the people suffer. And people must not live in a country where when you get a job, you can't have a voice. So when you are, I have a voice, and because of that you take my job, I'll be very angry. And when you give me back the job, I'll still have my voice. Because we have to speak for the rest of the people, and the country must prosper. We cannot live in a country where you have a job, you can't have a voice. The other day I was telling people, now look at Osei Kwame Despite. He has all the radio stations in this country. He has all the TV stations, UTV, whatever. He doesn't have a voice. He can't talk. He's scared. Rich people in this country, businessmen, they are scared. They are the ones that are driving the economy, but they can't talk. Kasa Preko, Dr. Kwab Neje, well, you cannot talk. Some young boys who walk inside some area, went and did campaign and won an election, will collapse your business. They will collapse you. You cannot talk. And that is not the right democracy to live in. People must have the right to speak. Nobody must take. And in this Ghana, under His Excellency Nana Dodankwe Kufuado, somebody who has benefited from this democracy, Nanado is one of the biggest beneficiaries of this democracy that we are practicing today. The, this democracy is what gave him the right to free speech, to the demonstrations, to whatever that has made him president today. And His Excellency the President, everybody knows it. Me, I have said it and said it that me, I will always be there for Nana. Just that when something is wrong, I will tell him. And when he's not running this country well, I will vote against him. And I will call people and say, vote against him. Personally, he's my person. I love him. I love Nanado. I will never hide it from anybody. I love Nana as a person. But if his leadership is not driving this country to the right direction, I will mobilize people to vote against him. If a Samoyedian goes and he's playing football and he destroys a penalty, it doesn't mean a Samoyedian is a bad person. I will tell the coach that don't feel that Samoyedian again. If he is not playing well, I say don't feel him. He doesn't know how to play football. Now he doesn't play well. Take him out of the team. But that does not make Asamwejan a bad person. I will love Asamwejan. He's my friend. I love him. And so I love Nanado. But I'll be very proud if Nanado wants to build a cathedral. I'll be very proud to go out there and vote against him and record and say, Nana, I disagree with you as president of Ghana. And so I have voted against you. But one-on-one, -on -one, as a person, I believe that you're a very nice person. And I love you. But you cannot do this job. I'll tell him straight. People must have the right to freedom of expression. And so, everybody, everybody, whether you like Kwame Plus or not, the message is very simple and it's very clear. We are looking for a new Ghana and a certain kind of leadership. Whether you like Kwame A plus or not, we are looking for a certain kind of leadership for this country. We are looking for a certain kind of leadership that think about people that will be born hundreds of years when they die. 50-something years ago, Kwame Nkrumah was building atomic energy. He built it, atomic energy, 50-something years ago. Today, North Korea and Iran are struggling to develop something like that. When Kwame Nkrumah built that, the people didn't even understand it. 50-something years ago. Today, 
countries are trying to catch up with what Kwame Nkrumah thought of 50 something years ago. 50 something years ago, Kwame Nkrumah built the motorway and people opposed it. Sorry for the break. 50 something years ago, Kwame Nkrumah built the motorway and people opposed it. They were not thinking about what Tema and Accra will be 50 years later. Today, you have leaders who are only interested in what they get now. Who doesn't want a job? Tell me one person who does not want a job in this country. And name one person who must not get a job. NDC people in opposition, they must get jobs. They say, oh, come here, plus when the party came to power, he got a job. The 2016 manifesto was an agenda for jobs. And everybody must legitimately get a job. But that does not put, make you a conformist. That does not make you somebody who does not see right and wrong again. Every good citizen defends their country all the time and their party when they deserve it. At this point in our lives, people must rise up and come and say, at this age, everything that I have gotten from this country called Ghana, every position that I have occupied, every money that I have made, I'm going to live the rest of my life for Ghana. At this age, people like Adukufu, Hakman, Uswa Jemai, look at their ages, Osafu Mafo, how do you call it, Jay Kufu, JJ Rollins, the Ahoys, Totobi Kwachi. Look at people, all of these people must organize a retreat and maybe go to like Senchi or a, a state banquet and sit down and, and, and come to a conclusion that at our ages, let's forget about NDC and MPP. Let's build this country for the people who are going to be born in, the, in, in years when we, are die, when we are dead. Let's build this country and prepare it for the people who are going to come just as Kwame Nkrumah and some people prepared it for us. This is what people in this Ghana today must come together and say to themselves that a year enough is enough. Human beings can't die because they don't have air in hospital. It's enough. The big men in this country, so-called big men, politicians who have benefited from this country, there is no difference between NDC and MPP. Who is J.A. Kufour? He was a member of Rollins government. He was deputy minister for foreign affairs. They are, they are the same people. And this is that, oh, they have built a better Ghana. Oh, they have done well. Ghana is doing so well. And people say, oh, no, we are better. We have done this. We have done that. But the question is, where is Ghana when you are talking about developed countries? We began with Singapore and Malaysia and all of these countries. Even Rwanda, a country that fought, and in two weeks, they had killed 800,000 people. Today is doing well. Where is Ghana, the land of gold? It is only this country called Ghana that I have seen human beings running away from gold, running away from oil, running away from natural gases, running away from cocoa and timber and bauxite. It is only this country called Ghana that I have seen human beings running away from riches because it doesn't reach them. So human beings who are royals, who have all the gold, who have everything that this, can, this, this uh, God can give any country, are running away into the cold to go and hustle, to make ends meet. People must be running into Ghana with the right leadership. And anybody, anybody watching me, who thinks that Kwame A plus is wrong? Kwame A plus, we cry, we have to find a way, we have to kill him. Jesus Christ died, and millions of people have benefited from that death. Whether you believe in Jesus or not, whether it's a myth or it's a, it's a false story or whatever you think it is, at least somebody heard about Jesus and didn't go and steal from somebody. At least somebody heard about Jesus and didn't go and kill somebody. Human beings have not changed 100%, but millions of people have benefited from the death of Jesus Christ. And if millions of people today must benefit from another person dying, so be it. People have used fear for so long. People have used fear. Kwame, be careful. Somebody will do this. Somebody will do that. Let the somebody do it for this country to prosper.
every big man, so-called big man in this country, must get up one day and say, I want to organize a conference for all the people who... I want to organize a conference for all the people who are in their 70s. Everybody who is 70 years old. Everybody who is 60 something. Everybody who is 80. Everybody who is above 65 years going. I want to organize a conference and bring all of you together. Let's end, let's end this NDC MPP. Let's end this system where when NDC comes to power, MPP businessmen suffer. And when MPP come to, comes to power, NDC businessmen suffer. Let's end this system of everything NDC is bad, everything MPP is bad. Let's end this system of John Muhammad didn't do anything. And but Nanado will find something to say he did. Even after John Mahama built the biggest port expansion, drive to Tema, use Comte 3, look at the port expansion. Look at the port expansion. If you think he stole money, let's arrest him and prosecute him. Nanado's people will say John Mahama didn't do anything. Then Nanado will go will finish his uh, uh, term in office, and the people will say, and John Mahama's people can say, Nanado didn't do anything because by then maybe they will also be in power. Ghanaians are tired. Ghanaians are tired. I expected Nanado to become president and go to the airport and commission Terminal 3 and say, this is for Ghana. And if anybody has stolen anything, we are going to investigate. But this is a, this is a Ghana project and we are happy about it. Let's live beyond that. So if you ask me, why is he better? I'm not only better because somebody took my contract because I like talking plenty. I'm better because I wanted Nanado to set a certain example, to set a certain precedent, to live, to end the era of NDC and MPP, where everything NDC is wrong, everything MPP is right, everything NDC is right, everything MPP is wrong. We had to end that one. We have to build businessmen in this country and allow them to operate. And when people do things that are not right, we deal with them according to the law. I keep telling you, I am a bridge between the angry masses and the political elite. I am a bridge because I keep telling the people we will never fight in this country. We will never because this is the only country that we have and we will protect it. And we will protect our democracy. And we will, we will conscientize the people. People must love each other mutually. We will work together to achieve what we want. And we will use the law. And I've said this over and over and over. How do you achieve that? In China, it's a communist country. China is a communist country. The leaders have almost 100% power. They do what they want to do. But when the people of Hong Kong came out on the streets, because they were not happy with an extradition order that was going to be passed, Chinese government ran away and suspended the implementation of that order. The people power. When people come together in 2019, there is not much you can do about it. When people come together to demand what is right in 2019, there is nothing you can do about it. And so we must come together. Yesterday, all of you saw Nana Banam when we went to commission the water project. People say, oh, A plus wants to form something, so he, went, he sells it to the highest bidder. So the highest bidder it's so stupid that the highest bidder believes that they can give me money. And when I finish chopping the money, I will go and sit on my Facebook uh, or I will go on into the media. I'll go to the media and say to everybody who is following me that, go and vote for them. And they will all be running. We don't want stupid people in the people's project. We want people who think for themselves. We don't want people come here plus can remote. We don't want those people. So if you believe that I can take money and remote you to go and vote for a certain party, remove yourself because we don't want you. You don't deserve to be here. We are looking for people who vote on issues. We are, we are looking for people who demand development. This country can prosper. 
We built a water system for the for Ablekuma with small money. Sixteen boreholes can be built with one V8. The price of one V8 can build sixteen of what we built yesterday, and give the people clean drinking water that you can take to FDA, and FDA will give you a certificate that this is water that uh, that is uh, uh, good for consumption. But they are sitting inside the V8, and the people are still voting for them. Let's start doing things differently. Let's start looking at things differently. Let's open our minds. The independence that Kwame Nkrumah gave us, even though we have enjoyed it and enjoyed some freedom, has been hijacked by some people, self-seeking people, NDC and MPP. And in 2020, we must vote on issues. Look, I can have all the issues with MPP. I can fight with them every day. But when it's time to vote, I will sit down and assess everything and look at healthcare and look at roads and look at uh, uh, education and tell myself that, listen, I have issues with individuals in the MPP. But I believe that on a national level, based on A, B, C, D, I will vote for them. I don't care. It is about Ghana. It is about Ghana. I don't care. I will still have my issues with people around the president and so and so and so. But on a national level, I will look at the direction that the direction that this country is going, compare it to the last 10 years, what we have achieved, and see, are we making progress? And I'll decide to vote for them. And I can also decide that let's come together and remove these people for power in 2020. Or let's even move the election to a second round to teach them something small. We can do all of those. It must not be personal. It must not be petty. It must not be because of your personal interest. It must not be because of issues you have with somebody. It should be because of the love you have for this country, your children, your children's children, and the generation unborn. That is what the focus must be. And we want everybody, everybody to be part of this. We want everybody. There is nobody who can win an election in this country if a certain group of people take a million votes from that election to go to a second round. Let's run this game. This is our show. This is our time. Let's run this thing. Let's run it. Let's let the politicians know that we put them there to save us. There is nowhere in the history of this world, I've, I've never heard anywhere, that the people who are supposed to serve are enjoying and the people the, the royals are suffering how can we live in accra greater accra region after 62 years of independence people of ablikuma don't have water people of oduma don't have water people of achama don't have water people of la paz abekan la paz here they struggle to get water race course Abehenase, and we have built water systems in these areas and we are going to commission all of them one by one and you have MPs and you have DCs who come to you and tell you they want to save you their children don't even vote and you are fighting and you are killing yourselves over these people their children don't care whether they win or not they have the money I say let's come together whether you like Kwame Plus or not there is no need to like me, to understand that we need a certain kind of leadership and a certain direction for this country. If you think that because Kwame A Plus is the leader of the People's Project, you are not interested, start something to end Esgracia, to give people water, to help underprivileged persons and communities, to, de to demand a 20-year plan for this country. Start something like that. If you think that you don't want to be part of something that Kwame A Plus began, just start your own. Begin your own. That is, is pushing and advocating for development for this country. Me, I may not like you, but so long as it is for the, in, the, in, the, in the interest of Ghana and it's going to benefit women and children and it's going to give uh, pregnant women better delivery services and it's going to give children better health care, I will support you. I don't have to like you to support this. So long as you are fighting to an end of S. Gracia, 
So long as you are fighting for a 20-year plan, whether you are part of the People's Project or not, just start something and I'll tell people that this guy, I don't like him, but he's doing something that will help this country and we must support him. We are getting there. I began TPP with three people. Today, we have 513 chapters worldwide. And every day, new ones come up. We are getting there. This is our time. This is an opportunity. All the time, Kwame Plus going to court. Kwame A Plus going here. Kwame A Plus. Me, I've always known what I wanted. I want to do. I have always had a plan. Sometimes I go overboard. I agree. But most of the times, a strategic mischief. People have taken us for granted for far too long. And this is the time. This is the time to do something for this country. And let me tell you something. Forget about the people who say that we are going to sell uh, to the highest bidder. If we have a million people who are paying one CD dues every month, we can run this thing and run it by ourselves. Because that is one million Ghana cities. Every month, if you make one million Ghana cities, we can build schools, we can build hospitals, we can build uh, 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 social amenities for people, we can help underprivileged children. We, there is so much that we can do. And every year, we see 12 million Ghana. You do not need to go and take any money from any politician. You can run this thing. We can run this thing by ourselves. There is so much we can do if we put a million people together. We do not need anybody's money. This is the time. Let the people come together. When we go for event, we will put bow there, the offering bow, like the way the pastors take. We are not taking it to go and buy Bentley and Rolls Royce. We are taking it to build our own country. We will put bows there and say, everybody, support this. We want to support our own thing. This is not the time for sharing T-shirts and 50 Ghana and 20 Ghana. Your life does not depend on that. Come, let us come together. Let us come together and build this country. Ghana is not a failed country. Ghana has had leaders who have not built this country for so long. And this is the time for us to come together and demand that we build this country. We can do it. We can do this. And it won't take long because we have the technology to do it fast. And we will read about ourselves. We will read about ourselves before we die. Everybody will see it with their eyes. That in less than 20 years, if every election we sit down with people and make demands before we vote,